Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about what's in my camera bag. This is the camera bag that I use. It's an Amazon basic camera bag. It has room and compartments for everything that you can think of. They're all customizable. They're, and on the side, you can put a tripod and you can put stuff in the front pocket, like a laptop. It's not meant for a laptop, but you can do it with a 13 inch or, or 11 MacBook, MacBook Air and those things. So yeah, let's get into what's in my gear and we'll talk about what I use for gear and what I have and I shoot with and my bodies and camera bodies and stuff. So let's get into that. All right, here's my gear on the table as you can see. I have a, for a phone, I use a iPhone 6S Plus with a Tech 21 Impactology case. And then for my camera strap, I use a Rapid RS Sports. And you, then you've got my computer, which is a MacBook, a 2008 MacBook with 8 gigs of RAM and a Core 2 dual processor. It works what I wanted to do. It's running 10.11 El Capitan. And then I got this um, per Pure Gear um, wipe so I can wipe down the computer. And you've got the chargers for all the cameras the uh, ones for the flashes, the batteries. You've got the two Canon, the, all the three Canon ones that I got here, three and four. Um, you got my external battery that goes into this Canon flash. It's a, actually, it's a Young Nuo Digital Speedlight YN560. You've also got this Canon Speedlight 430EX2 with a Velcro strap on it. I use that to attach uh, modifiers and reflectors on there. You've got my new mouse that I just picked up, which I'm gonna be doing a review on in the next couple days. It's the uh, Logitech MX Master. It has a uh, Bluetooth or a uh, USB dongle connector. Just, just a word of warning, there is a little thing you need to know about that mouse, which if you stay tuned to this channel, you will notice what that is and, you'll tell, and I'll tell you what that is and why it kind of irks me that, th that no reviewer really talks about it. So I will talk about it in my review for that MX Master um, it also comes in on my computer. As you can see, I've got this little USB dongle that allows me to uh, connect my mouse to it. You've got my hood for my 18 to 55 or 75 to 300 millimeter lens. It works on both. It just doesn't go 18. You can't use this for 18 millimeters. You can only go down to 24 when you have this on the 18. That's on my camera right now recording. You've got the Sigma 28 to 70 f2.8 lens hood and here's the Canon uh, Canon mount Sigma 70 to 70 28 to 70 2.8 constant aperture um, word of warning when I do the review on this this lens which I'll do in in the next couple days you uh, I'll talk about why I bought this lens versus a Canon 24 to 70 and what's the reasoning behind that um, I also got the older to me uh, 75 to 300 version 3 it's an aperture of 4.0 to 5.6 it's a decent aperture um, like I said it's a 75 to 300 we've got the hard drive that I use it's a insignia uh, Best Buy brand then we've got the camera bodies which is a Canon 30D uh, six frames per second takes S uh, compact flash cards it's a 8 megapixel camera we've also got the can older Canon Rebel T2i with a battery grip on it and it holds two batteries and that's a 10 megapixel camera with sensor cleaning the 30D does not have that what it does have over the the Rebel is the continuous shooting of five frames per second and then you've got the classic the first version the Canon 5D Mark 1 or the Canon 5D classic whatever you like to call it with the E1 hand strap and the battery grip um, it's an off-brand battery grip because they didn't make the battery grips for this camera. I couldn't find them anywhere else, really. Um, you've got the cable for my hard drive, so I can plug it into my computer. It runs off USB 3.0. And then you've got a couple needed accessories. The um, Phillips head, mini Phillips head for fixing the computer or doing any repairs you need to do. You've got the um, ratcheted socket wrench so you can a screwdriver so you can use it to do different things, change out the bits. You've got here, you've got my 
step up ring from 58 to this is a 58 to 67 millimeter step up ring you've got my menon menon on white balance uh, lens adapter you just stick this on the lens and I'll be talking about that more and why white balance is so important and you get the adapter to hook on the lens you've got a 58 millimeter UV filter you've got three pull uh, neutral density filters for when we do our video on how to take uh, waterfalls and make them blurry and smooth and silky. We'll have a demonstration of that in later videos. We've also got my 67 millimeter filter on top there. You got my CB Mini RC custom bracket for my flash. So I can hook a flash off camera and have it be off axis so that it's, so that it's better. Uh, pictures. I've got my shoot S H O O T uh, intervalometer to do time lapse with and to do different things with that the camera doesn't allow you to do. Oh, and by the way, I'm shooting this all on the Canon T2i with an 18 to 55 millimeter non IS lens. I got it with my Canon Rebel in like 05 or whatever when I got that. I've got a battery right here for my Canon 5D. Sorry if I'm in the shot here, I'm trying to show this stuff here. Um, you've got this, is my flash bracket, so I can put the flash, stand it up on table. You've got my 21 in one memory card reader. You've got my Canon strap for my T2i, which I don't use can camera straps other than my Black Rapid, and I'll go into more detail later videos on why I don't use that, and why I use the Black Rapid over that. You've got my Canon lens hood uh, caps, for my 58 millimeter and my 52. You've, got, you've also got the SanDisk Ultra 2s. I use uh, two gig cards mostly for my photos. And then I got a couple two gig, I got a two gig and a one gig SD card, one from Kodak and one from SanDisk. And then I've got this uh, compact flash adapter so I can take these two gig cards and put them in my 5D or my Rebel because they both take compact flash. And my 30 takes a compact flash, my Rebel T2i takes a SD card, different varieties of SD cards, but it does take SD cards. Um, you've also got the flash, flash cable to hook the flash off camera using the CB Mini. And you've got an extra eyepiece, which is the eyepiece for my uh, 30D and my 5D. And then you've got the memory card from Low Pro. It's a one that you can slip on your belt if you can see right here. And you've also got the pockets in it hold seven cards. And then you've got my flashlight, which is a generic Walmart brand flashlight, it's metal. It's got a little clip on it. You can use this to light the photos and show different things around it. And yeah, that's the basic kit that I use. And that's what I use for my camera equipment. And I hope you enjoy and like this. And if you have any questions about what I use, leave a comment in the description, uh, comment, and I will try to get back to you. And I'll leave a link in the description to where I get my stuff and I don't necessarily think I'm going to go in putting everything but if you have a question of what lens I use and what different equipment I use you can you can ask me in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Please like, subscribe and keep watching for more videos on all this equipment and why I use this stuff. Thank you and have a good day.